Oh. Ness Kirby. Uh, all right, uh, Vinny, if you're in chat, start taking notes. Let's go. We're seeing the VV Kirby coming in against Fawn's Ness. All right, I don't here we go. know entirely how I feel about this matchup. Ness having the disjoints that he does. I never think of this matchup. <laughs> Who does, really? Besides uh, Kirby Mains. Okay, here we go. Oh, all right. Yes. Both very small. Both very small characters. Ness having the disjoints that he does is gonna make things really bad for Vivi's Kirby. Okay. The final cutter coming through, looking for some ledge trapping potential. That's not a move out of shield. It's it kind of is. Well, you it know, can be. Almost. You're not a Kirby main. You can't tell me I, no. I play actually quite a bit of Kirby. Uh, no my, way. Here's my Smash Four main. Smash Four, Smash Four main, everybody. Wait, what move isn't a move out of shield? Final uh, cutter. No, final cutter. No, it is actually. Move. It is yeah. actually in this game. Yeah. It, uh, they reduce a lot of the startup that okay. he used to have. It's too bad you're not going to Smash Con. You could have actually entered Smash 4. <laughs> but anyway, we actually got the uh aw, Kirby with the hat. Let, let, you know what? Let VV let VV get the hat again, please. I mean, I don't so cute. know that VV would want PK Flash. It's cool. Yeah, sure. Okay, there we go. Oh no, just a little too far. This is this is how you can tell when somebody doesn't play Kirby. You you're not getting the forward tilt. Yeah. I mean forward tilt like all it's things good. considered, it's a pretty dang good move. Yeah. It goes it goes pretty far, but it's not a sword. Unfortunately not. Can you imagine Kirby with the disjoints? He already has them. Oh. Okay, so I lied. I just looked up the frame data. It yeah. is, in fact, frame 23, final cutter. Oh. Wow! Yeah. All right. Kirby's best out of shield option is, uh, I believe it's up smash. Let me double check. That, but, uh, that makes so much sense. Nair is frame 8. They okay. hated me because I spoke the truth. <laughs> I'm going to throw a rock at you when you leave the venue. <laughs> How dare you? He who is without Sid cast the first stone. Yeah, that's me. It's going to be all of us. <laughs> you played Sora. You're not without Sid. I am sinless. He is sinless. He, You know what? He picked up the character and everyone is like, Sora is bad. He believes. I believe in Sora. I... My Nair 2 into S matches, which are true, <laughs> are absolutely fair. No one can tell me otherwise. Completely morally correct. <laughs> Oh. And that is the, not a character on the screen. I'm going to shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> but you know who is a character? This Kirby actually putting in some good work here on the last stock. BB waking up, remembering how to play this from Smash 4. Okay. <laughs> All right. True. Harry. All right, going for the bonk technique. Vaughn obviously having the character knowledge. <laughs> wow. Uh, sure. Yeah. BB risking it all just we'll to get that edge guard. It's a good trade. The 99. Oh no! Don't not like that. So are you jumping? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> saw the PK flash. Was like, yeah, give me a I slice like of that. Serve it a la mode. Hello. Why does that not work? I mean, listen. It only it only works if you're a Kirby main. Sick command grab, Kirby. All right. Fawn taking game one. You see those smiles? And that could be you here at Zeno. But True. you're not here. Why aren't you here? I, I, I need to point out Fawn's yeah. reaction the moment that uh, that Kirby came up. <laughs> it's like, yeah! They, 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 they got Ness. <laughs> <laughs> they knew what was happening. They're like, ah, oh, yes, I get to play a high tier, and you're playing a bottom tier <laughs> character. Every single time Fawn goes to random dittos, they always get the better character. I don't know why. It's just... It's just they just have RNG. Yeah. If Vivi has it for Hero... Vaughn has it for Vaughn has it for the rest of the cast. Look at this! <laughs> Look at this! Alright, so we've got Terry Greninja coming in, but I know I've seen VV play Greninja before. I don't they also know if really it, play Terry. I don't know if it was in random dittos, but I have seen VV like play this character at least oh. once. Oh. Oh. I, th I think VV kind of took oh. a person. Okay. He's fine. I was They're like, fine. that doesn't spike. It, it does, in fact, spike at the, the late hitbox. Oh. Learning new things, but BB right now up against their own character in Fawn's Terry. I will say... It's like looking in a broken mirror. <laughs> okay, here well, we go. All what right. What we see behind the cracked mirror? Uh, the smile. Oh. 
We're gonna see if Fawn's Terry is indeed cracked as uh I mean right now we've got that mirror. mirror. I mean this Terry's looking pretty cracked. Their crack shoot actually connecting. Right. This is how you have a Terry. If that connects, you're good. I don't quite know about that down air from BB. Does get the down tilt into up smash. Aww. And just an easy water shirken off stage. Go meter off the table for Fawn's first stock. What a shame it went away. Oh, but uh, so did that stock. Yeah, they're not going to have to work too hard to uh, find BB's first stock regardless. Quick jab jab power dunk to Sakurai special. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Wait, no. We're trying to get the uh, fancy combos here. Ooh, All right, BB just kind of being like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, the invincible rising tackle coming through for fun. Whoa! Goodbye! BB, a little shook from that. Yeah, jumping jumping off the ledge a little bit too soon. Fun, absolutely ready for that timing. Oh, no, not again. It's going to keep happening. Should have kept it going. One more? For the fans. For the culture, really. Yes. Oh, that could have been Smash an, culture. Uh, a clean drag down setup. Unfortunately, Greninja's multi hits are just not very consistent in this game. I'm sorry. So, uh, so who's molding hard, harder in chat? Greninja mains or Terry mains? I... He's like, this is not how you play the character optimally. Oh my gosh. How about that? That was cool. All right, now it's Terry mains in the blender. Yep. Vaughn, once again, go meter off the table. Definitely could be Vivi's game two to win. We might see yet another random ditto. I know I want to see more random characters. Of course. I want to see what high tier Fawn gets and what low tier Vivi gets next. I'll see here. Vivi's going to get Little Mac and Fawn's going to get Kazuya. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate matchup. Oh, all right. Getting some dash attacks coming through to catch Fawn's landings. Got to be careful, though, as Go Meter is on the table soon. Only four more percent. Vivi's got to be taking this next stock. Oh no! Oh, okay, okay. What? No punish. Don't play Terry. Okay, missing with that was, special. What was down till up B? There we go. Okay, does find it eventually. VV saving themselves the embarrassment <laughs> of being told by Fawn. I beat you with your own main. Do, does VV use like the attack special spash attack macro? Macro? Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe. That's the only explanation I can think of for down tilt up B. We, we can ask them after this, because I am curious Maybe. myself. Which, by the way, why does Smash Ultimate just not let you map Smash attacking to a button? Bayon oh my god! All right, we've got another. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, oh we've got a, no! we're doing a, are we doing a mulligan? This has or? to be a mulligan. Okay. There's no way okay. that <laughs> Vivi was like, yeah, I got Bayonetta. Let's rock this. No, and That would have been so you. awesome. Actually, I bet Vivi could probably pull like a good bait. Right, congrats to Fawn for winning this. The <laughs> <laughs> Fawn is like, I tricked yeah. you. <laughs> All right, we got a mulligan, folks. We're re-rolling. Yeah. These are Vegas odds now. If we do we have channel point we betting, we should do channel point betting. <laughs> this is salty bet hours, folks. All right, let's see what <laughs> let's see what low tier <laughs> uh, Vivi has traded Bayo for. Ooh. All right, we got it's a goofy matchup. We got Mega Man Olimar. Let's go to Buzz. Let's go on Amanaguchi. Uh oh. No way. We have on Amanaguchi versus. We have Peepro and the Buzz at home. Buzz, come on. <laughs> I think they're at SmashCon. No, they're at home. They're, oh, you're right, they're at home. home. They're right here. Okay, here we go. I don't think Vivi knows the differences of Pikmin. Well, Vivi does know that up smash is a good move. Oh, so absolutely. That's, uh, Neutral air as well. It's, it's all right. Throw hey guys, Pikmin, Pikmin until you win. Play Pikmin 4. It's a good game. I, it's a fantastic game. I'm playing game. Pikmin 2 right now. I've got two more games to go. So uh, <laughs> I, will, I will make a confession. I have never played Pikmin game. They're, they're surprisingly fun. I could not vibe with Pikmin originally, but I gave Pikmin 1 another chance recently, and it, that's, it's a good time. The way somebody convinced me was like, oh, play Pikmin 1, it's like Dead Rising. I'm like, oh, I'm <laughs> down. Because of the timer mechanic. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, honestly, Pikmin, uh, Pikmin 2 is a better, Pikmin 4 is a better version of Pikmin 2. So if you really like Pikmin 2, I think you're going to love Pikmin 4. Okay. Okay. Right. And, like, there's actually a side story in Pikmin 4 that emulates uh, Pikmin 1. Like, they try to blend the best of each of the games. Oh, okay. that's really cool. That's neat. Speaking of which, this is 
a weird matchup because both of them are definitely in the zoning category. BB just trying to rack on that damage, but uh, honestly, Vaughn is in kill percentage now. They both are. Yeah, I mean, all right. I was, I don't think VV plays uh, Olimar too much because they did just throw away a blue Pikmin. You know, the chances of yeah. somebody playing Mega Man versus all uh, Pikmin is like, you know, most people have played a Mega Man game. So, so Fawn knows what to do. Jump and shoot. Super, Jump and shoot. That super arm reaches so far. All right, uh -oh. VV does have a purple and a blue online. Does look. That was a punish. Oh, that should be it. Yeah, the there blue Pikmin. Go. They know. Blue Pikmin have better throws. Let's like, go. Way better throws. Why, though? Uh, only the Buzz can answer. They're the only one who plays all of our. <laughs> only the hey, Buzz. Why does the blue one have that? Why does the blue uh, one have that? Red does more damage. Yellow jumps higher, so their arc is different. And the only thing that distinguishes the blue one is the grabs. Yeah. Oh. Because there's no water in this game, so why would they have that be the one thing that distinguishes them? I just noticed Olimar is Olimar sitting in shield hits like the fattest T pose. And they're asserting dominance. They're like, <laughs> you won't so approach. Funny looking. Just arms completely straight out. All right, here we go. Ooh, wait a minute. All right, what are you gonna see? Okay, you know what? They had the right idea there with the purple Pikmin. They missed with the purple Pikmin. But Font doesn't miss those blades. Yep, still only red and purple Pikmin online right now for Vivi. Font getting a lot more aggressive here with their approaches against BB, knowing that BB doesn't quite know what to do with the Pikmin. Their best resource, but also the one that they are least utilizing, except just for throwing. You're not seeing any down tilts, you're not seeing any up tilts. Yeah, those uh, those metal blades are just eating right through the Pikmin toss from yeah. BB. Yeah, it's called mowing the grass. <laughs> oh no. They're being harvested. Harvested? Mega Man needs their biofuels. So, oh my god, yeah. It runs off of uh, renewable energy. <laughs> Very green energy. I mean, that is the green Mega Man, so this makes sense. True. See, this is why we can't go renewable, folks. The Pikmin are going to die. <laughs> is it worth it? Drink more Answer. oil. You can't you can't flame sword the red Pikmin, Fawn. Come on. Yeah, that, that's, uh, <laughs> that, that's Mega impervious. Man's campaign slogan. Mo, baby, mo. It is impervious to fire. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, all right, little crack bomb. Oh, trading blows. Fawn knows what to do though. They yeah. play snake. Vivi really just kind of having trouble with this uh, the second stock, but nice. finally though the fire up smash coming through and a little taunt. They can do this. Oh, oh my are so gosh. Cute. They're terrifying because it's like this is just an alien. Uh oh. Okay, good job saving there. Jump. No. Let's go, Vivi. Olimar. Let's go, Vivi. <laughs> yeah. But just, just like, ah. That truly was a, a match of all a, time. A set. I never saw this victory screen <laughs> where these guys are just walking. <laughs> this is a weird victory screen. What is this? Uh, honestly, that's everybody cheering on Vivi right now for the room being like, I don't know what I did. I like that the blue, the, the blue Pikmin is looking at the camera. That's creepy. It's like, oh, oh God, you're right. He's the only <laughs> one. <laughs> he's, he's the fourth wall breaking Pikmin. The red Olimar is staring straight. Or the, the, <laughs> he, yeah, the red yeah, Olimar. Yeah, you're right. The blue one's looking at the camera. The yellow <laughs> one's staring straight ahead, and the red one is focused right on Olimar. Olimar. <laughs> See, here's the thing. The red is in love with Olimar. The yellow is in love with the blue, and the blue is in love with it's literally a, anything outside the camera view. Very interesting love triangle that we've uh, uncovered here. The Pikmin lore is deep. Yes. What's the Mega Man looking the happiest he's ever looked? Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of bracket. Clap, 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 clap. I don't have to play randoms anymore. <laughs> well, you know.